Hi. Hello, everybody. This is Wagonized France Van Stone, and we are going to do a live drawing today. Uh, thank you for being here. Those of you who are already here, this is great. I see you guys come in one by one. Um, hi, everybody. <laughs> this is great. I'm, I'm reading the screen. Do you know that this is actually the very first time I'm doing a live on Instagram? And um, today I'm doing this because I am announcing a, a new class that I'll be doing with Sketchy. And this new class will be all about drawing wrinkles. So today, if you want to join me and draw along, uh, please do. My reference photo is on Sketchy app. Um, thank you for being here, everybody. Oh my gosh, hello, hello. Right now, you can only see my hand. I'm going to talk a little bit about what kind of pencil I'm going to start with. Can you see everybody? So what I have here is an O9. Um, and I like O9 because it allows for a much thicker line. It's a mechanical pencil by uh, Pentel. And what I have in this particular one, this orange looking one, is a very light lead, it's H. So what I do is I start with this and it gives me a light foundation to which um, I can add, and I'm gonna decide that as I go, either a darker, like a 2B, which is also an 09, it's very much the same kind of pencil, or even a 4B, which is going to be this thing, this big graphite that I just sharpened here. So I'm not sure. Um, but right now we're going to do the foundation. Um, I'd like to show you my reference photo. Let me see if I can either pull it up this way. Yes, I think I can. Okay, here we go. So this is my reference photo. Um, here's a profile, right? You've noticed there's a, there's a nose, eye. Um, I have about an hour to do this, so hopefully uh, we can cover uh, we can cover ground in one hour. So there it is, and now I'm going to go back to my live. But I can also bring in the photo the way I have it on a little tablet on the side. I have it right here on this seven in, seven inch tablet, and it sits right to the left of my drawing, which is the way I draw most of the time. And that way I can constantly look um, at, my, uh, at my reference photo. Okay, so um, please feel free to ask me any question that you might have. Uh, it's about 106 of you. Oh my gosh, hi! I'm so glad to see that, uh, you know, I can recognize some people here. This is beautiful. Yay! Um, so feel free to ask me questions as I draw. I will try to look as my, at my screen as much as I can. Oh my gosh, Krissa, you're here. Hi. <laughs> this is great. Um, and as, oh, Chris. Hi. So I have Krissa and Chris in attendance. All right. I don't want to waste any time, guys. Today is all about wrinkles because I am uh, going to teach a class starting on July 5th on Sketchy. If you want, the link is in my bio, and this class will be all about drawing wrinkles. It's part of a series of monthly classes. Oh my goodness, Zach, you're here. Hi. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to roughly try in one hour to, uh, to cover, you know, some wrinkles, because that's, that's the whole point. Um, so thank you for, for being here. Oh my gosh, people from India, people from all over. Please don't hesitate to tell me where you are. Um, some of you, it's pretty obvious because you're putting the flag. It's great. Uh, Jenny, you're here. Hi, Jenny. All right. I, I, I'm going to start drawing. Otherwise, I'm going to be chatting the entire time. All right. As I said before, I'm starting very lightly. And don't be too surprised. My... Um, Bracelets are going to make maybe a little bit of noise here, uh, but hopefully not so much that it's going to be, uh, you know, a hindrance. So here we have a face that is kind of tilted this way. 
So remember that I'm using an H pencil because I want to start really, really light. Oh my gosh, people from Saudi Arabia. This is amazing. California, Northern California. Oh, I recognize some of you. New York. Yes, don't hesitate to tell me where you're from. This is amazing. This is great. Um, and by the way, I do not recognize all the flags, um, but most of them. Okay, so um, my reference photo one more time. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh, Chris, thank you for having a first picture. How do I get my proportions right? This is the stage where I am right now. Hi, everybody from Pakistan, Michigan, Indonesia. So look, Chris, you were just asking me a, questions about, a question about keeping my proportions. This is exactly what this stage is for. This stage is where I am setting sort of the boundaries of my drawing. This is where I decide where things are. I'm going to have a chin not far from here. Okay. So this is really just a prep. And there are a lot of lines here that are going to disappear eventually. Um, oh my gosh, people from uh, Switzerland. This is amazing. Mexico. Oh, this is great. Thank you all for being here. We have 138 people right now. And I am trying to look at the questions as, uh, as I'm drawing. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but bear with me. This is kind of my first time doing this. No, it's not kind of. It is my first time doing this on Instagram. Okay. Um, so setting the, um, the proportions here so that I don't mess up once I go too dark with, uh, with my darker pencil. So I'm deliberately using a pencil which is very light. You've noticed that you can barely see um, the lines here. Oh, this is beautiful. Cambodia, Italy. Oh my gosh. Hi, guys. Great. Great to have you all here watching. Um, did you notice that I'm making different decisions here? I started here, but no, I decided to push it further and further. That's how it goes. South Africa. Hi. Um, hi from uh, India here. I'm going to show you again the reference picture that I'm using from Sketchy. It's a profile and this is all about drawing wrinkles. My new class on Sketchy is about celebrating people's wrinkles. I love drawing them um, and they are so much fun because they capture so much light and uh, volume. Um, this is, this is great. Oh my gosh, people from Iran. This is amazing. Brazil, Argentina, Russia. I am so impressed that you guys are making the time, uh, to do this with me. So did you notice that I have a start here, but I'm far from done. Uh, and of course I keep talking, so it, uh, it doesn't help me move forward, but that's okay. We'll get there, right? We will get there. Hi, Iraq. Oh my goodness. I love the fact that you guys are from all over Costa Rica, Scotland. And here I am in the United States on a windy, a little bit overcast day here. Um, okay, what do you think here? All right. Again, things are going to be um, much better in a few minutes. Um, when I decide to, you know, leave out some things. I am not a huge fan of using erasers. You will see, even when I, I draw with a pencil, I've, I rarely revert to the eraser. It's just one of my things. Okay, it's not looking great right now, but I want to determine where the light is going to hit. This chin here is really interesting. Look at this. Okay. And now for proportions. Okay, let's take a look. I'm going to draw a quick line here underneath the eye, which is going to um, determine where my ear is going to be, like right about here. Okay, how many hours do I draw, do I draw every day? Um, first of all, drawing every day is crucial. Sometimes I can only put in 10 minutes, sometimes 20 and sometimes an hour, and sometimes more when I have the luxury to have all that time. Uh, it does happen that I have a little bit of time, but uh, as a mom, I don't have all the time in the world. Um, but if I have, honestly, 10 minutes a day, I'm, I'm a pretty happy camper. 
Okay, so I've determined that the bottom of the lobe here of the ear is a little lower than the, than the nose. And that's really kind of what I wanted here. Okay. Okay, I don't want to press too hard on these lines here because they are going to make things look too um, too bold when really we want that that line here to be as as thin and discreet as possible because that's not where the the wrinkles are that's not where the important information is okay so um, wrinkles everybody okay wrinkles um, I would like you to try to draw wrinkles too and when you do you can join me either uh, right here and if, if you have sketchy you can use this reference photo you can find it by uh, going draw me France wrinkles okay and yes you can ask any questions you might have all right so now I've got what seems to be uh, the proportions of my face right and we are about what mm, 10 minutes in which means I'm feeling much safer uh, going in with a darker pencil. Oh, I have a very interesting question here. Which time of the day do you draw the most? I work full time and during my work, I really uh, cannot draw. But uh, at night is when, when I take the time. So what time of the day? It's usually when it's dark out and I have a little bit of time after uh, my daughter goes to bed. Um, also, um, keep in mind that we are focusing on wrinkles, so that's what I really um, want to do today. So I'm going to go into details. I am not going to do great details for the hair. I will suggest it. Oh, and now here we go. I, oh, Mick, you have a great question. What's my favorite uh, thing to draw? Okay, um, faces and faces with wrinkles because they offer so much information. Uh, much more interesting than babies, to tell you the truth, even though I love babies like everybody else. Uh, but frankly, it's, uh, it's the wrinkles that really get to me. I love it. Um, also, those of you who have questions about ballpoint pen, this is great, but that's gonna be part of my lesson, which is uh, drawing wrinkles on Sketchy. Check out the link in my bio. You're going to find all the information you want because in that particular class about drawing wrinkles, I'm going to do a lesson on pencil and a lesson on pen. So you will have the option of exploring both. All right. I do sleep some time. <laughs> yes, I do. All right. Um, so here's what I'm switching to. I had a minute ago, I was using an H, uh, very, very light, and hard kind of graphite but now I am switching to a 2B now that I've got my proportions down you see those lines that I drew across uh, lines like this and like that right um, and what I'm going to do now is is um, go and add all the darkness that I see in my original photo okay so take a look so here is my original photo did you notice that I have a lot of darkness where the light doesn't come in because the, the source of light comes from the top? So the light is going to hit this and this, but everything underneath is where all the darkness is going to be, and that's what I'm interested in, okay? Um, hours per day, you know, those of you who are asking me um, for beginners, how many hours per day, this is really hard to tell because for me, uh, drawing has been a matter of, you know, years I've always drawn. Um, when I was a kid, I was drawing all the time. So I don't want to discourage anybody and say, well, it's going to take you years. No, but um, for me, definitely, um, if you have an hour to put in a day, you know you're going to see progress. But you have to want to do it, really, frankly. You have to have a little bit of passion for it. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit laborious. So I am adding darkness where I see it right now. Did you notice? I'm going in dark where I see darkness in my original photo. 
And the darkness is also in this eyebrow here. Okay? It's always kind of weird to, once I drew with an H pencil, to go over it with a, a 2B, for instance. Uh, let me see if I can see this uh, question better. How do you manage to highlight in a portrait the traits that make it different for, uh, for man from the rest? That really is kind of what the information of the original photo, that's what it gives me, and I go by that. Um, I don't add too much to what is already in the photo. Um, you will notice, though, that as I shade... I will come back and shade some more in those areas. I hope that answered your, your question. Um, oh, very good question. Uh, do you think that drawing is a natural talent? Absolutely not. I truly believe that drawing is a skill and that it is something that you hone and that you practice. Uh, maybe every day if you can, if you're lucky to have that time in your life. Uh, but it is a skill. It's like playing a musical instrument. I don't think anybody can just pick up an, a musical instrument and start playing like a virtuoso. It just doesn't happen. You just have to put in the time and make that, that skill yours, you know? So, um, again, like going back here, but going ever so slightly for the outline. Okay. We've got some eyelashes here very light and for those of you who are joining us now um we are doing wrinkles uh and here they are and <laughs> they're coming in look at this uh wrinkles because i love drawing wrinkles and this new class that i'm teaching online with sketchy is all about drawing wrinkles celebrating people's wrinkles because they are so interesting to draw and if you want to join that class, I have the link in my bio here on Instagram. And you can just join it and see if it's good for you. If it works for you, that's great because it's going to be the first of a series. A monthly series of lessons that I'm going to be teaching, classes. And um, those classes will explain to you how to do wrinkles at first. Ooh, look at that nose coming in here. And then after wrinkles, we'll focus on something else. Then after that, something else. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to happen monthly. Um, there we go. Yeah, I'm seeing some really interesting people. And thank you for those of you who have already um, signed up for, uh, for the class. And something that I should not forget to tell you is that at this point, if you want to join the class, you get $5 off my class by just using the code 5 faces, 5, the number 5, faces, faces, all caps. Okay, look, wrinkles are coming in, but I don't want to do them too harshly because it's going to look goofy. So bear with me. All right. I told you earlier, I'm going to show you the original photo one more time. Did you notice that we've got some shadow here and much light here? I want to focus on this and on this. So this is going to be somehow filled in. But anywhere where you see white, very bright light, we're not going to touch. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start working on filling this. Okay. Um... Comment fais-tu pour te motiver à dessiner tous les jours? Oh, I like questions in French. So basically, how do I motivate myself to draw every day, right? For me, I don't need motivation because it is the thing I love doing the most in my life. I prefer that over cooking, over sleeping. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. I really like sleeping. Um, but it's, for me, it's not a matter of motivation. I love having to sit in, um, in a waiting room, for instance, for more than 20 minutes at a time, because I know that's gonna be a, an opportunity for me to draw. So for me, drawing every day, dessiner tous les jours, c'est pas un problème, au contraire, au contraire. Une demi-heure tous les jours, c'est le paradis, quoi. C'est ce que je veux. I hope, uh, I hope I answered that question. <laughs> 
um, en français and in English. I try to do the bilingual thing here as I, as I draw. Um, French speakers, you can, you can say hi. I wonder if you are all from France or if some of you are from other French-speaking countries. And don't hesitate to ask me questions in French. I love it. This is great. Okay, so I'm shading here, shading away. And I'm not hesitant to be a little bit uh, bold, you know? Okay, how can someone improve himself on drawing? Um, I mean, I've done this by myself. You know, I'm self-taught. Um, there are lots of great places out there where you can learn online. One of these places is Sketchy. And uh, I love partner partnering with Sketchy because they have such a great platform for everybody to meet and share their work and um, discuss with the teacher of the class. In this case, it, it's going to be me for this class on um, wrinkles. Um, it's it's really uh, the greatest place to, to learn. I'm using a canson paper. I'm going to write canson right here, so you know. It's a very uh, inexpensive drawing paper. And uh, today I chose to draw in pencil, but I could have... I could have gone in pen because, frankly, I, I don't have a clear preference. It's more of a mood thing, to tell you the truth with me. There's the ear. Um, I love the fact that you guys have a lot of questions. If I don't get to your question right away, don't hesitate uh, to ask me again, okay? And the hatching thing, oh boy. The hatching thing is... Um, is key for me. Did you notice that that's how I tackle everything? I'm going this way because that's how my hand wants to go. That's just how it is. Um, so basically what you want to do is have kind of a dull, did you notice how dull my, uh, my tip is getting here? I'm getting a nice um, area here that I can use to cover ground and really... Um, yeah, this is the cross hatching that I'm using. Um, ooh, good question. Uh, when I do straight hatches, which I'm doing now, um, do I sometimes incorporate curves? You will see they are coming. Right now, I am kind of laying a foundation. I hope I'm making sense. What I'm doing here is making a dark background for this shadow to live. But then I'm going to come back because cross hatching everybody is like layering, and I use a lot of that when I do wrinkles. You'll see. Because the thing is, let's take a look at this original um, photo again. We've got all the light, all the white here, and here, and here. This whole area here needs to be filled, and that is what I'm doing right now. That's what I'm doing because. Otherwise, it wouldn't look realistic. And you're going to find that some of this area is darker in some places. So there. I'm trying to make long hatches so that I cover ground. Okay. And if I don't get to your question right away, no worries. I will get there, okay? Hi, everybody. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. You study from Faces with France and Cross-Hatching with France. Great. So um, someone here um, took my classes on Sketchy and you learned something from them. That's beautiful. I'm so glad to hear that. So I hope you will be tempted to, to learn about how to do wrinkles, which are coming in very soon. Right now, I am interested in bringing in a little bit of volume to this face. Ooh, there's actually a bit of a wrinkle right here. There's a crease in the skin which is really interesting to convey. Okay, let's take a look. I'm changing the orientation here a little bit. Whatever is more comfortable to your hand as you go. Okay. Thank you for the nice comment. 
Do you go from dark to light? I do not. I'm going to do the opposite of that. I am going to go from light to then adding more darkness where those lines are. So there's a line here, which I'm going to fill in by going a little darker here. You'll see it's all gonna get, it's all gonna come together, I promise. Um, I do like having a, a base, uh, yes. So someone is asking, do you recommend establishing a base value of tone? Um, yes, indeed. So what you wanna have is sort of like a minimum amount of tone, which is kind of what I'm doing here, so that you can build on it. And when you make marks like this, you have a lot of flexibility. For example, whenever I see that it's a little darker, I'm adding darkness here. See, there's darkness going on there too. The Definitely the darkest that I can see is what's going on in the ear, and that gives me uh, sort of like how far I can go in, uh, in darkness. Okay, I don't know if five hours a day of drawing is necessary to tell you the truth, but because I've, I've never been able to draw five hours a day myself. However, I've drawn for as long as I can remember. I was drawing as a kid all the time. So drawing is something that you have to somehow incorporate into your life. And nowadays I don't have I don't have anywhere close to five hours to draw, uh, but I have 20 minutes every now and then. And that's sometimes that's enough to, uh, to say that I've drawn something in my day. Don't beat yourself up if you cannot draw for more than 10 minutes a day. That's what, what really matters at the end of the day is that you take the time to observe the world around you and um, you see the world through the, the eyes of the artist, like, oh, how I would draw this, for instance, you know? Thank you, Jenny, for, for telling us that cross-hatching with France was helpful. I really like hearing that. That is another, another class, for those of you who are just coming in, um, another class that is available through Sketchy, it's called cross-hatching with France, uh, where you can really focus on just that, on cross-hatching. Um, the new class that's coming out, for those of you who are just joining us, is called Wrinkles. That's where we are going to celebrate wrinkles. And guess how we're going to celebrate wrinkles? Oh, yes, there's going to be some cross-hatching too. The focus of the class will not be just cross-hatching. For that, you might want to check out um, the class that I teach exclusively on cross-hatching. It's called Cross-Hatching with France. So again, if you go to my bio, it's going to show you all these classes that I teach and really you can choose what it is that you want to improve on and then I'll meet you online at Sketchy Art School and we can discuss the results of what you do and I can give you more pointers there and we can do more live drawing and Q&A just like that. Um, so since I'm getting a lot of good questions about cross-hatching, Keep that in the in the back of your mind that you can you can also take a cross hatching course and uh, the one that we're doing now the one coming out on July fifth is all about wrinkles. See, I incorporate these these folds because what they are they are folds in the skin, and we want to sort of blend them into this base that I already have. You see what I'm doing here. I'm blending in these wrinkles. You'll see it will all come together. Um, okay. Ooh, modern artists. Ooh, that's a very good question. Who do I look up to in modern artists? Um, so many out there, my goodness. Um, a friend of mine, Paul Heaston, is one of my absolute favorite. Paul is able to draw people and buildings. Because usually people can draw either or, and I'm one of them. I'm not great at drawing buildings. Um, I love drawing people. But Paul can pick up a pen or a pencil and do either brilliantly. And uh, he's, uh, he's amazing. Um, I have a lot of people out there. There's uh, 
someone in Canada named Chris McKay, who I love very much and who does uh, watercolor. And I love his work. Okay. Um, let me try to follow the questions, okay? So what pencil am I using right now? Let's take a look. This is a lead holder, right? A mechanical pencil. It's an 09, which allows me to go fairly thick. And inside there is not the lead that came with the pencil. I bought 2B lead so that it would be a lot darker because I need to achieve those darks there, you know, at the where the darkness is so sometimes hb doesn't really go that far even though hb is great it is probably the most versatile you will find hb is another word for number two pencil by the way um so that's what i'm using right now for the base i was using an h and by base i mean like these very sketchy lines that i did at the at first so it is also a mechanical pencil, but this one had an H lead, which is much harder and much lighter as it goes on. Okay, um, again, I'm kind of ignoring the hair because this is really not the focus of what I want to do. I would like to focus on conveying some of these wrinkles. And now that I'm here, I'm realizing that I can go much darker here and here. Look, now I'm going to use the part that is a little sharp. And I'm going to add a little darkness here and here, like that. And my wrinkles are right there. And the shadow is coming in ever so lightly here. A little darker here. There's a, a darker spot on his cheek that I really don't want to ignore. Okay, let's see if I have any more photos, uh, any more um, questions. Uh, yes, it is the twist erase by Pentel, by the way. Uh, Pentel, I mean, absolutely. Twist erase, which means the eraser is uh, you twisted, you twisted to get it out. But um, as some of you know, I don't really use erasers, so I just go and, um, and I just keep going. And if I make mistakes, well, uh, so be it. Um, I do not measure, but those of you who were here at the very beginning, I drew some lines going this way, that way, this way, and that way. And they are now disappearing underneath the darker um, lead that I'm using. And that's exactly what we want. And that's why most of the time erasing is absolutely unnecessary. Um, now addressing the, the darkness here in the crease of the nose. Bottom of the nose, because there is hardly any light hitting the bottom of the nose here. There's a little bit of a curve here in that nose, but very light. Really, ideally, I should come in with a pencil to erase this line here, or with um, an eraser to erase this line, but I'm not going to worry about it now. This is really not my my concern. I really want to convey some interesting shadows that I'm starting to see more and more on that nose. See, I may not have to, to erase anything. Um, and I do not paint. Horrible. I mean, sometimes I do things in watercolor, but boo, not that many. Okay, a good question. Do you draw left to right to avoid smudging? Yes, because I'm right-handed, which means I need to start putting the darkness here, and then I move east on my page, which is the safest thing to do when you're right-handed. I figure that if you're left-handed, and I believe you are, um, you can do the opposite, which means that you are safe to draw um, from east to west with your left hand. Okay, so remember that we are announcing this class, which is all about drawing wrinkles, right? And that's what we are doing here, just adding very thin lines that are going to inform us that this person has some wrinkles. I love drawing wrinkles. They are so much fun. They are what I 
I live for. I really live for those details, for adding these little pieces of information in the skin. Look at this. See, suddenly we've got something going on here, right? Okay. Um, this will be available. I will save it on IGTV, Instagram TV later. So first I will save it. You will see it as a um, as a save in my story for 24 hours. And then I'm going to import it into IG, IGTV so you can uh, benefit from it right here on Instagram, okay? So right now, we don't have much of an ear. I don't care. Really, the interesting part of the face is right there. Oh, and guess what? Right here, too. I'm going really light now. Super light on this, uh, on this forehead because... What I want to convey is light, not lines. Does that make sense? Light, not lines. I love lines, but here we're trying to convey where the light hits on this forehead. You see what's going on here? I might come back to it a little later. Right now I'm just moving away from it to get back to it maybe later on. Okay. Adding a little darkness in my cross hatching. Look at this. Just adding a little darkness and blending it in. You see what's going on? And trying not to smudge what's going on here, which is tricky, but uh, it's always a struggle. Okay, look at that. Now we're seeing a face, aren't we? Okay. Oh, um, thank you for pointing this out. The thing about drawing like this, it's crucial to me to have one piece of paper on a hard clipboard like this. This is plastic, and this allows me for a lot of flexibility. Thank you for pointing this out, um, because a lot of people ask me, how do you get such dark tones? The only way you can get dark tones is by having a hard surface underneath. I insist on that because otherwise you will get frustrated leaving this. See, this is why I took it off of the sketchbook, because in the sketchbook itself, it would just press against um, the pages underneath, and we don't want that. Coming in with some wrinkles here, ever, light, ever so lightly, but then kind of informing us that there's you know, this person has smiled a lot in his life, right? I love that. It's the same with me. And this is not, by the way, from imagination. I would like to point out the fact that we have a reference photo from Sketchy and that this reference photo is great because we've got a lot of light coming in from this direction. So you see it's kind of light here. Also the the nose and the forehead, but everything else is going to have to be addressed. And this is the stuff I live for. I live for this area here. I love this. And what I leave out, I leave out. Okay. So those curves, um, depending on whether you want to show the cross hatching long or short, that's when you curve or not. And if your cross hatching is short, you really don't need to curve much. If, however, you want to make longer lines when you cross hatch, you have to address the fact that you don't have a flat face here. You are sculpting uh, the face along, if that makes any sense. So that's, uh, that's my answer about that. Ooh, I smudged here a little bit. I don't really care. Again, I'm not a big um, eraser user, so I just go along with uh, whatever happened and uh, just let it happen, you know? There. Okay, let me try. So my art journey, I love the fact that you, um, that you ask me... Um, 
how I got to, to this in drawing. I've always drawn. As a kid, I was always drawing. I was always drawing. Uh, it was my favorite thing to do. That and Legos, may I add. Um, and frankly, the, this, is, this is how I got here, you know, by drawing so much for so many years. Did you notice that I'm adding uh, the, the color here? He's got a color of his, uh, of his jacket. He seems to be holding uh, maybe an animal in his hands, but I'm not going to even address this. I want to show you what matters to us here. There's darkness underneath his face. There we go. Right here. Ta-da! All right, and more of his shoulder in the background there. Okay. Um, I still need to add darkness here, I'm realizing. Because again, the bottom of someone's neck will most likely not be exposed to light, right? And that's exactly the case here. There we go. Okay, so let's see if I have any more. Oh, thank you for reading my book sketch. I really appreciate this. This is great. Um, I'm glad that uh, that sketch has taught you one thing, which is that drawing should not be a ceremony. You just pick up paper, whatever is at hand, and you draw. Because if you make it something like a big deal, like, ooh, I'm going to draw now. Well, chances are either the results are not going to come up to your expectations. And that is something I talk a lot uh, about in my book, Sketch. Um, so I'm really, I'm really appreciative um, of you for saying this. Okay, uh, so the name of my book is simply Sketch with an exclamation mark at the end. And it's on Amazon. I used to have it as a link in my bio, but right now the link in my bio is all about getting this class, launching this class that we're doing with Sketchy, which is all about drawing wrinkles. Starting on July 5th, we are going to draw wrinkles and get to the bottom of all this. Try not to draw wrinkles as lines because otherwise we make babies look like old people um, and old people look like monsters and that's the last thing we want to do unless we want to draw monsters and that's a whole different thing. Um, but this class that we have now on Sketchy starts July 5th and the link that you have in my bio is all about that so check it out and if you think that this is something you would like to explore we are going to do these kinds of things okay um, and I appreciate the fact that uh, you tell me uh, these are skills oh my gosh Tina you are here I'm so happy that you made it yay okay and no I did not go to art school my gosh no I did not go to art school my my parents would never have let me go to high school, to uh, art school. So instead I studied languages. Um, and so I speak a couple here and there, you know. But no, I did not go to art school. I had to just keep drawing. And that really just goes to show that this is really a skill because it is something that I never stopped doing. I never stopped drawing, never. And uh, the oh, cl oh, guys, are you ready? I think I am going to use the eraser now because the fuzziness on the chin here, I can't tolerate that. I need to address this. Um, you can get my book on Amazon. It's called Scre Sketch. My name is France Van Stone. I used to have the link in my bio, but right now the link in my bio is for my new class. Okay, here we go. Because on Instagram, you can only put one link at a time, right? Okay, again, addressing very light things here. Voila, here we go. 
Ooh, there's a little wrinkle here that I had not noticed at the beginning. Oh, this is another thing I love about drawing faces. The more I draw, the more I see. And I love that. Okay. And you know, the question about updating the iPad section of my book, I would say I would love for this to happen because iPads are changing at a pace that is so fast um, that really, yes, it would be ideal, wouldn't it be? But it's not always up to me to be able to do these things. So I would have to talk to my publisher about that. So, um, you see where we're going with this? You see the wrinkles, okay? And do I speak Spanish? Un poquito. Okay, un poquito. Puedo decir algunas cosas, pero no mucho. Algunas palabras, I should say, really. Not that much, guys. Pero puedo dibujar un poco, sí? Y puedo enseñar. Okay, and I'm going to stop here with the Spanish because I'm going to really re make a, a ridicule myself, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Adding a little more information at the bottom of the face. And then now, really addressing a delicate part of a wrinkle. Here there's going to be very light shading underneath his eye. And I want to do this because I'm using a 2B pencil. Um, this is 2B lead right there. Um, I want to go super light because I don't want this to be exaggerated because it would look really horrible all at once. Oh, I noticed that he's got a little, little mark here in his skin. Oh, I love the fact that I'm noticing more as I look as I go, you know what I mean? Okay, here going super lightly under his eye because that's how it is. And then keeping this area completely light but coming back here from underneath with some lines, very, very Apparently I have to. <laughs> You're gonna think this is insane, but okay. See that? Okay. Ooh, I noticed that it's actually darker around the mouth than I had originally anticipated. There you go. Can you hear an engine starting in the in the background? And I've been at this for about 50 minutes now. Um, yay. So this is going to be an hour long. So we have about 10 more minutes, which is kind of perfect because I want to bring a little bit more highlight to the forehead, but not anything too crazy because we know that the light source comes from above. And those wrinkles are just going to be suggested here by some very, very slight uh, shading. You see what I'm doing? Very light now because I'm using a 2B pencil, right? And 2B pencil, boy, it goes dark very quickly. It really just does. That's what it wants to do. Okay. Oh, I don't like this too much. Let me blend this in a little bit. Ah, there we go. When things look goofy, I find that blending things in just sort of brings a little more realism into uh, into the drawing. Okay, remember those of you who came in at the very beginning of the video, I had these awkward lines here. Um, well, I'm gonna leave them because frankly, uh, I don't mind. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, Patrick from Belgium, thank you for being here. Patrick is another one of our great sketchy artists. Oh my gosh. His work in ink is awesome. He is also one of our teachers at uh, Sketchy Art School. And I really love his work. Patrick. Okay. 
Uh, oui, j'ai une photo de référence. I have a reference photo. I want to show it one more time. Okay, so this is the drawing, which, uh, by the way, I made a little bigger than the original photo, if you've noticed. Um, I didn't really worry about the resemblance. What I really wanted to convey was light and wrinkles. Because remember that this is all about celebrating somebody's wrinkles. This is one of my favorite things to draw. And one of the things that I love about pencil is that it really allows you to go in all kinds of um, values with those wrinkles. And I didn't go too crazy with the wrinkles, but now I'm coming back in to add some very light and thin. So I'm turning my pencil. Take a look. Here's the tip of my pencil now. You see, I have uh, definitely uh, something as what we call a biseau in French, right? And if I turn it and I use the sharp part, now I can add more information into these wrinkles, but not too much because then it would look goofy, you know? We don't want that. Okay, and I'm adding a little bit of that to add darkness to, to the eyelashes as well, okay? Um, and yes, I would love to do this in pen in the future, of course. You know how much I love drawing in pen. Those of you who know me um, on this particular platform know that pen is really one of my favorite tools. And in my class, this class that I'm going to be teaching about wrinkles, um, starting on July 5th, in this class, we are going to explore as much pencil as we are going to explore in a pen. So both media will be addressed. Okay, let's take a look here. Do we have a face? Yes. Would you say we have a face? Very, very light highlights here. And wherever... Oh, look at me now. I'm using a little bit of eraser so that... I am now hardly conveying. And did you see these lines above? Now I'm making the decisions to get rid of, get rid of them here, get rid of all the, the goofiness here that I had at the beginning so that all I have left here is a very light, very light line that's barely there because frankly, it is barely there. It doesn't need to be more there than here. You see what I mean? Boom. And yes, I am going to save this. Um, and I am going to put it in IGTV, okay? So that you will have the benefit of seeing this at a different time if you couldn't sit through the entire live. Okay? Okay. So, I am doing some very light finishing touches. And, um, okay, oh, an another question about uh, my experience in this field. Well, my experience in drawing is that, as uh, some of you know, I am entirely self-taught, so everything I'm doing is very much the way that I've figured it out over the years. And when I say years, I mean years, because I've been drawing ever since I can remember. I was, a, I was drawing as a kid. And as such, I was spending hours and hours drawing, um, drawing not so much from life, but more from imagination. And um, that really stuck with me. I just did not stop. I just kept on drawing. You know, all kids draw, right? We all draw as kids. But for some reason, some of us stop. And it usually happens around puberty. And it's a shame because we get distracted by other things. And uh, for some reason, I didn't. <laughs> for me, it was always cars and drawing. Sorry for the sniffles. I was actually sick a couple of days ago. Oh my goodness, sick. And I can't believe that I have a voice again. Okay, erasing that extra line. And here we go. Okay, what do you say? Do we have a face here? Yes? Oh, let me determine a little more where the nose ends. There. Okay. All right. 
So, um, yes, oh my gosh, Sabrina, you are here. Love it. Um, and of course, what you say is very smart, which is that the wrinkles came in gradually um, as if the wrinkles aged the page. Oh my gosh, leave it to Sabrina to say something so cool. Thank you for adding this. This is very true. I think wrinkles is not necessarily what I start with. Um, but as I get more and more comfortable with the values, they come in. Kind of like they come in later in life, right? Ah, oh, Sabrina, you are great and I love you. Um, so, let me see. Uh, do you draw, did you draw that with a lot of lines at first? No, when I started this, uh, this live, and you will see on IGTV, I started with very basic lines with this H pencil. And then I built and I built and I built because that's what it's all about, building. Um, I'm so glad, Patrick, that you say that I'm, uh, that I'm relaxed because this is really what, what drawing is for me. Um, and yes, you can, Kathleen, you can rewatch this on IGTV uh, at any given moment. So first, it's going to stay on my story for 24 hours. I'm going to save it. And then it's going to go on IGTV. Did you notice how much I ignored this poor ear here? I did because it's not really my concern right now. I really wanted to focus on the wrinkles. Wrinkles here, wrinkles there, wrinkles here. A little bit of here, right? Little creases in the skin. And really this is what makes uh, a face so appealing to me. So appealing. Okay, and yes, I will put it on IGTV. I will save it. Okay, thank you for those of you who uh, spoke French to me today. I love it. I love that uh, you came in and asked me questions in French. I love seeing who is French speaking because, as you know, I am from France. This is my native tongue, and I'm very comfortable uh, répondre aux questions en français, hein? vraiment. <laughs> and yes, Kathleen, let me show you that source photo again. That's a very good question. Merci et de rien, yeah, Paul, okay. Uh, so let's take a look. We've got uh, what I've got here with very, very little line here. And this is, again, uh, my original photo. Um, it had a lot of light, right, here, here and here and there, which is where I ignored lines. So I left those areas purposely very light. You know, there's hardly a line here. And then I filled in the rest. And honestly, if I spent five more minutes, I'm sure that I could fill in a tiny bit more here and here. But at this point, I think I've conveyed a face and wrinkles. Because again, this is all about uh, wrinkles. Oui, la France est bien représentée. That's exactly right. Um, okay, so what we've got here is a sample of the things that you can learn uh, with me at Sketchy. If you go to my bio, you are going to find a link. That link is going to take you to the classes I teach, especially this latest one called Wrinkles starting on July 5th. And if you sign up, um, you can learn to draw all these like intricate things that make drawing so interesting. This is the stuff. This is what I call the interesting stuff, right? And uh, join me. What happens with Sketchy is this great thing. If you sign up for a class, then we meet on Sketchy Art School and you can discuss with other people who are taking the class, you can share. Um, you can share your work, I can answer questions, and so on and so forth. So unfortunately, uh, the hour is pretty much up. We have about 50 more seconds. I want to thank you all who came from all over the world, all over the world, literally, and de rien to all of you who spoke French here today. Um, I just love the fact that you came and you spent time with me. I hope that some of you uh, were inspired to go pick up a pencil and some paper and draw. 
Uh, merci, Chris. <laughs> I am going to uh, end this in a few seconds. And um, thank you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure hosting this. We will do this again. This is way too much fun, really. Um, thank you all for being here from all over the world. Okay, I am going to end. I have uh, four more seconds left. I'm going to wave goodbye. Bye-bye.